Welcome to the Sports Fan 1100 News. I am your host, the Sports Fan 1100. This is episode 6 of the Sports Fan 100 News. Cue the intro. Senator criticized the National Security Agency on Monday for spying on friendly foreign leaders and questioned President Obama over apparently not knowing about it for years. Senator Dianne Feinstein, Democrat from California who chairs the Senate Intelligence Committee, said She is totally opposed to collecting intelligence on leaders such as German Chancellor Angela Merkel. It is my understanding that President Obama has not, was not aware Chancellor Merkel's communications were being collected since 2002. That is a big problem. Feinstein, who indicated she and her committee were also not told about the spy, said that this White House has informed me that collection on our allies will not continue, which I support. As growing chorus of nations protest U.S. surveillance policies, Obama and aides said that the programs are designed to protect national security, but an ongoing review will address the concerns of allies. The national security operations generally have one purpose, that is to make sure the American people are safe, Obama said. But as the capabilities of intelligence gathers expanded, Obama said that ongoing review will seek to make sure that what they're able to do doesn't necessarily mean what they should be doing. The review of the NSA programs is designed to ensure that intelligence gathering protects both the security of our citizens and our allies and the privacy and concerns shared by Americans and citizens around the world. In a written statement, Feinstein said her committee will also review intelligence gathering operations. In response to Feinstein's statement, the NSC spokesperson Caitlin Hayden said the President Review is examining whether we have the appropriate posture when it comes to the heads of state, how we coordinate with our closest allies and partners, and what further guiding principles or constraints might be appropriate for our efforts. Administration officials refused to com- comment on a report indicating that Obama learned only this year about a program that monitored communication of foreign leaders, a situation that won't, wouldn't be particularly un- unusual. A former, Paul Pillar, a former senior intelligence officer, said most presidents don't know about the targeting decisions made by their intelligence agencies. It will be a horrible drain on the president's time and, and attention, Pillar said. Wall Street Journal reported Monday that the NSA ended a program monitoring foreign leaders after an internal review revealed its existence. The account suggested that Obama did not know about the programs until that review began during the summer. Spain is the latest in a string of nations to to protest NSA surveillance tactics revealed in news reports based on disclosure by former NSA contractor Edward Snowden. Other nations include Germany, France, Brazil, and Mexico. Carney said a report on the review triggered by the Snowden revelation is due by the end of the year. But leaders in Germany and other countries are demanding immediate change to U.S. surveillance policies. People say it's not the tactics themselves that create international friction as much as the fact that they have now been publicized. I spy on each other all the time. Allies know about all the time pillars that. Normally, he said nations that discover surveillance from other countries would tighten their security procedures and not make a public think about it. But the news coverage is by best known revelations and fueled by outrage from their domestic constituents forces leaders to confront the United States. The issue is particularly sensitive in Germany where memories of the nation's Cold War divisions 
remained fresh. That includes the myth expired by polite forces in communist-run East Germany, the native regions of Chancellor Merkel, and outspoken critic of NSA tactics. Difference, he says, it's a public discussion, Conley said. Since this known revelations began appearing in June, Obama had, and other officials have said that the NSA surveillance programs are designed to help thwart the terrorist attacks, not to spy on average citizens. Programs are designed in such a way to detect patterns of communication between a suspected terrorist. Merkel demanded a U.S. response after reports that her cell phone had been monitoring, monitored by the NSA. Conley said that in a phone call last week. Obama assured Merkel that we do not and will not monitor Chancellor's communications, a statement that leaves open the possibility or, or past efforts. The administration did deny a German news report and keep Alexander informed Obama about surveillance of Merkel three years ago. General Alexander did not discuss with President Obama in 2010 an alleged foreign intelligence operation involving German Chancellor Merkel, nor was he ever discussed discussed alleged operations involving Chancellor Merkel said as a spokesperson of these vines. These reports claiming otherwise are not true. Also a group of European Union parliament parliamentarians are in Washington for what Carney called an outgoing US EU discussion about privacy issues. This is obviously something that has been of concern, and we are working to address these concerns diplomatically, through diplomatic channels, and also in the way that we're talking about these issues now, Carney said. The recent disclosure about the NSA have caused tension in our relationships, Carney said, but we have extraordinarily strong and important intelligence and security relationships with our allies. While the United States and Germany figured, figured to remain allies, Carney said that the flap could undermine joint efforts on trade, data sharing, and law enforcement efforts to block potential terrorist attacks. Obama spoke then and said Monday that ongoing review will address the concerns of allies. And now, on to some world news. Poland Prime Minister dies at the age of 86. Tadeusz Mazowinski, Eastern Europe's first Democratic Prime Minister after communism, has died at the age of 86. And now, on to some sports news. Volmer has been in, of the Patriots has been injured. But the winning Patriots will move forward without right tackle Sebastian Volmer. And in fell media, Insider Ian Rappaport reported that Vollmer is having season-ending surgery Monday to repair his broken right leg. The Boston Herald first reported the surgery. Vollmer has injured Sunday during the third quarter of the Patriots' 27-17 win over the Miami Dolphins. Vollmer got his leg rolled up on during a Stephen Ridley run play and stayed down for several minutes before the Patriots' medical staff put his leg in an air cast and carted him off the field. The television audience clearly could hear Volmer howling in pain as he crumpled face down into the turf. Marcus Cannon replaced Volmer at the right tackle and should remain there for the foreseeable future. Volmer joins defensive tackle Vince Wilfork and linebacker Gerard Mayo on the list of Patriots talent who won't be playing in their snap until 2014. These are setbacks that will be difficult to overcome for the Patriots. I am the Sports 100 and peace out. See you next time for another edition of the Sports Fan 100 News. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen.